Hi everyone, Emma here. Hello. <laughs> I'm just showing you my desk. It's Saturday and I am working on so many projects at once. You can see this here I'm working on for a video to show you guys. And um, I feel like it needs more, so I'm kind of playing with this idea here. Just that. So this idea here of maybe alternating every other tile. So yeah, I, I feel like I need a bigger bead because you can see the holes. So I, you know what, I get hung up on stuff like this. And the other part to that is, you know, I came up with this really in interesting closure for the um, bracelet and I'm getting ready to do a video to show you guys how to do this. But I always leave one in undone so that I can show you this weave and then add like then put the clasp on the one that's already finished. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> and here's the other thing. So these are um, flat diagonal hole something the the name of the bead now some people know them as silkies but they're actually not silkies and I've been doing some searches to try and figure out what they you know what what the proper name is whatever anyway I got them but shipwreck beads so they have like four names like four words to describe them which describes them so the holes are horizontal no they're diagonal but they call them horizontal, whatever. Um, they come in sets of 75 beads, and this is almost seven. I, I probably, ha so I probably have about the equal amount that I have on this bracelet minus a few. So you couldn't make two bracelets with it is what I'm getting at. And then it's like, you got to figure out what to use them for. <laughs> and they only have about, Six colors I have all the colors now with the colors this is probably the nicest color they have the other colors they're okay they're not my faves and um, you have to come up with a color scheme so this is the kind of stuff like my head is hurting just describing it to you so I'm just letting you know this is the process of doing YouTube videos and I tell you, you know, when I do my videos, sometimes I get to a point where I just say, that's it, I'm turning the camera on. Today's one of those days. And probably because I have all these different projects going and there's little decisions I have to make about them. And I find sometimes I can't make the decisions without help or without saying, okay, that's it, we got to do this. So I'll come up with this. This one's really pretty and it feels so nice. And it's lovely on your skin so yeah we're gonna we're gonna get this one completed so anyway I have been working on pearls ta-da so this is oh that's the thread from that thing I was like why is there a thread here um let me uh close this so you can see and I can this is what we're gonna do so we're gonna make one of these and we might make some more with different colors but we're going to redo this one and the reason being see what I did wrong I should have attached this part here it's attached to this middle rung and I thought it would keep it even from side to side but it's too low so it should go on this one and the other thing is I didn't want it too close to the heart because I didn't want to um, I didn't want to scratch the pearl so when you're wearing it and stuff I thought it would scratch the pearl but I think what we'll do is we'll add two of these seed beads then the crimp bead and cinch it right up close at the top one and then it should be fine so this is the one we're gonna make I'm making this for my sister Sylvia she's coming soon I'm so excited let me show you a few other things that I'm working on so <laughs> oh my gosh I have these earrings that I made some time ago and as you can see there's no ear wire on them these are meant for Maria 
in Spain and I was kind of, they're very orangey and I was kind of hoping to do something, another set for her that is gold with maybe some dark black crystals and stuff like that. It's kind of a more elegant thing, but I'm sure she'll love these. So there's that and there's, there's little like beads I want to send her and stuff. So again, these are like, I have such a hard time because I have so much stuff. I never know what to send people. <laughs> yeah. So if, if I ever say to you in an email, let me know what you're interested in. By all means, you're helping me out by saying, oh, I use a lot of seed beads because I do this or that kind of thing. That helps me make decisions because I suck at decisions. Here's the other thing I want to show you. And I don't know. Actually, maybe if I flip the camera, I can show you. Let's move this out of the way. Let's tilt this up here. And see if I can get the lighting a bit better. That's better. Oh, let's enlarge this. So this is for BB Craft. So I, I did make one ahead of time. And this is the item that I got from BB Craft. And it may seem like such a small part to the whole thing. Let me see if I can get it better. It's not really showing it up nice. It's too far, I think. Let me bring this closer here. It might be the black background. It looks amazing on this black background. Just set it there. Here. Yeah, so it may seem like a lot, like, you know, there's a very small item and the rest, but I'll tell you, this little <laughs> moon and star connector totally, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not motivate, inspired me to do all this stuff. So I have the clasp. I, I really like doing the clasp in the front. So these lovely little star clasps kind of fit in with the clasp. And then I wanted it to be very dainty and elegant. So it's just basically seed beads, pearls, some bicones, and that. So we're going to do, we're going to make a bracelet to match this in the video because it's it's very simple but you'll see I'm sure you'll love it it turned out really nice so let's get started on this and <laughs> at the corner here these are oh I, you know what I never use this tray I this was still in the wrapper this tray and there's another tray they're like too big for my desk and uh, Amazingly, I'll sh show you part of this one here. So this one here has the long area so you can do like uh, necklaces. And you know what? I was surprised. I used like I used a ruler to measure and I went over and measured what they have here. And it's almost exactly on uh, accurate with these measurements on the, the boards. But um I almost never use these and you know what I think I know why I don't use them it's great for this when I was getting set up to these are for the BB craft videos it was great to just plunk things in the little slots but you know what I had too much crap on my desk I'm sure you guys are the same I like to be organized and you know um clean and tidy and stuff especially when it comes to videos but you know what it's one of those days I'm just like I don't know what's going on so I am going to just we're gonna do this again with the darkness let's see I think I had adjusted my video um you know if you have dark background so like the black um necklace uh stand was uh, making everything dark okay so this one here I am using this so the this is really coming in handy I have to tell you if you take a look this is like super thin 
it says that it's 0 0.30 millimeters. It's ridiculously thin, but you know what? It's super strong. I've never had anything break using this. Um, I had ordered it in error. I didn't realize I had some seven strand that was thicker than that. So I was looking at the seven strand. I didn't even look at this. Um, anyway, it was super cheap. This is like, look at that's, 305 meters so you know it's it's pretty comparable to the yards I think a yard is a little bigger than a meter um, or vice versa but anyway it there's quite a bit here and if you look at some I bought this directly from Beetle on if you look at some of their stuff and that's where I got those foam trays the felt trays as well that's what I wanted to tell you about that felt tray that was five dollars. <laughs> so, like, I had to buy it. It was so funny. Like it is so big that when my order came, I had like this stuff and a few like um, uh, crimp beads and really tiny stuff. <laughs> but because they can't fold that big tray, it came in a massive box. And at the time, my wife was like bugging me. She's like. Do you think you're buying too much stuff? And <laughs> like this kind of thing. That's not how she sounds. <laughs> but um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I, I was like, no, no, this is why they just didn't fold it. Uh, so anyway, this stuff is amazing and it's gold. So it really matches. You can see here how nice it is. And it's really delicate. I mean, you can see that that's attached. Here's the other thing that I need to switch up for this is I crimped it. Like, if you look at the back side of this, it looks like a bead. Because the, when you get that little taco shape and you're folding it over, I should have had that at the back. So I didn't realize I was doing that. So let me just make sure that's nicely focus that's better oh, much better so yeah you can see the fold there little stuff like that drives me nuts <laughs> okay so back to the thread so you know what I have so much of this I just grab a big piece of it and cut it normally I would suggest you leave it on your spool and just um, bead onto the spool and then work from there so I'm using my uh, flush cutters and you do have to be careful um, th this is coated in like a a nylon so sometimes the wire doesn't cut or it doesn't cut through the wire or the the nylon so you kind of have to pull it as you cut but that one worked out fine and I have my crimp cutters and I think I got, here's the other thing about Beetalon. I can't say enough about Beetalon. I love them. So if you order directly from them, first of all, your first order gets you, I think, 10% off. And then um, they have amazing tools and they're not going to sell tools that are crap because they have their own brand tools as well. Um, I got this from them. I can't remember what I paid, but their tools are so so affordable I think a um, memory wire cutter is like five dollars and some other little tools are five to ten dollars so definitely worth checking out so you're gonna need that you're gonna need a crimp bead and I did I would suggest you buy crimp beads from a reputable manufacturer like Beadalon so I'll just take one out so that's where these came from and the reason I say that is they work so much better than um, like just cheap ones I used to buy cheap ones and I'd go to crimp my beads and it never worked or it looked all mashed up and stuff like that and I'm like what the heck so I'm um, this is the other thing I'm using is this beautiful heart clasp with this connector and it connects to the pearl so you just open that up and so your connector becomes a element like um, a focal element of the 
bracelet and that's what I like so let's cut this off and restring it and chit chat while we're at it so let's cut here make sure that little piece of wire is gone yeah where do I, oh, it's right there. Okay. Let's, we could actually maybe get our, our um, you know, before I cut this off, let me see if I can do this and just put my, my wire. So the wire is so thin that you can get through things easily. So know if it'll be worth doing it this way we'll see the first one's going to be tough am I um it's kind of it's kind of hard for me to struggle through you know what I'm going to pass that one and go through the pearl let's see if I can get through no we're going to have to cut that off it was the thought <laughs> What do they say? It's the thought that counts. Oh, oh! I wasn't even thinking. You know, um, yeah, that one's a crimp. So one of the things that I did, and I'll show you when we get to the other side, is I actually um, okay. So let's let's start by attaching our thread. So and that's what I like to do. That's my process. So why don't we start with the heart? And because we're going to remember that we're going to go through this top section here. So let me grab a crimp bead and then go through that part of the heart. I'm going to put a bit of a tail because we're going to put the tail through a few beads. You, you shouldn't have to with your crimp bead. But I'm going to just bring that. Make sure that I crimp this on the correct side here. So let me um, bring this closer and bring this here. Get my crimping tool. I'm a attempting to adjust the wires so that they're both there now they're sitting side by side so that they don't cross over okay do it like that there so i'll see you when i get my yeah so i need to turn my tool this way nope that's going to be down it's going to be this way so if you look at your tool, so I'm going to use this middle one, which is a micro. So this is a really cool tool. It has um, this first section, you see it's round on both sides, is meant to fold over your little taco that you make. You have a regular size and a micro size next to it. I'm using the micro size. So when you're looking at doing front to back, make sure so i'm i'm holding mine with the back facing me so that means that that little tooth should be sticking up so let's see if i can maneuver my way in here and i'm gonna grab hold of it and then pull the there we go and I'm pulling it towards the heart so it's nice and tight and tight. Fold that in there. So both of those wires went in each side of the groove. So grab that, go to the first spot, and we're going to fold this over. So I'm going to try to get this. Oh, I see it's hooking on my heart. There we go little bit of maneuvering just because of the shape of the and fold it over there that's what I wanted 
<laughs> so now you could, when you look fast, that's going to look like a bead. So let's get the other guys on here. So I'm going to do a few. So I'm gonna, I am going to put a, these are 11.0. Um, yellow gold galvanized they are lovely and let's bring this a little closer there so I'm just doing so that looks like that got yeah that got scratched from so we're gonna exchange that one I want this to be perfect for my sister I mean, there's nothing wrong with that other one. I'm sure I'll use it. But for this situation. Okay, so I did put a tail. So I am going to put. Here's the thing about adding a tail. First of all, let's take a look at this. If you take your fingernail and try and pull it, it's not going to move. You can pull on each side. So really, you could cut it right there and nothing will happen it will stay on because they have that nylon around the wires when you crimp your bead it actually hooks into it so that's what really holds it along with the shape of what your crimp if you were to put a more length and especially in a bracelet you're doubling up well now the nice loose um draping of the bead that you get from this single strand of wire you've now got two of them so it's not as as loose so let's just do one bead and crimp cut it uh, so this is probably where I damaged that other bead is when I went to cut this so let's let's be careful Emma there that's better Okay, get the next one there. Oh yeah, look what a difference from what I had before. That is lovely. Okay, so let's get these on. Ha -ha. So I hope everybody's doing well. It's uh, it's been crazy here with the fires. Um, I think I'm gonna take these off. The uh, The fires close to us um, are finally, I think they're all out. The one further away is, I think, is is not expanding, it is somewhat under control. I, you know what, I'm, I'm probably not correct on that. They, um, sent firefighters from different countries and from the states to help out now there's wildfires in alberta in bc it's just crazy i'm sure i think there's some in california I, you know what? I stopped watching the news. I mean, I still watch it. Sometimes my wife's, she's a news junkie. So she has to watch the local news and the uh, national news and then CNN. Uh, and then she has to watch the NASCAR news. I can't forget that. Oh my gosh. But anyway, so... When, when COVID started, I was getting really depressed with all the news. So I decided to be active in what I allowed myself to see. And you know what? When you're married to a news junkie, they let you know what's going on anyway. So 
She's my filter. <laughs> so when you're doing a bracelet, for measuring, what I do is I have a mandrel that I bought on Amazon. This is what it looks like. You know, this is pen marks that I put in. I think they were, they had like stamped little marks or something. And um, I have measured this against like an actual measurement. So just to be sure, because, you know, who knows? They say it's measured, but. Anyway, I got mine, I think, for $25 on Amazon. As a lot of things have gone up in price, you kind of have to take a look. There was a ton of them, so I just searched and searched for what I wanted and what I was willing to pay. So I didn't want to pay any more than... I didn't want to pay any more than $20, and then when I saw that one for $25. But I think the prices have gone up. So that's what I use. So I, I have a rough idea of the, the length and then I measure my, I'll get a bunch lined up on a, on a strand and then I'll, um, I'll wrap it around the mandrel with my clasp or, you know, incorporate the clasp for however many inches, inches it's going to, and always remember to add half an inch half an inch quarter of an inch quarter of an inch to a half an inch so that it's loose you don't want it like a super tight on the person's wrist so unless they prefer to wear them like that i don't know anybody that has ever said no no make it tight so so that's what i do to get the measurement so of course i didn't need to measure this I had already measured it and finished it now. Okay, so this one I did a little different. And the reason being, okay, the beads are still there. So I will add those. So you see these didn't come off because there is my crimp bead. So I put my crimp bead further away from the clasp so that you couldn't, at a glance, you couldn't tell. You could put it at this pearl here but I didn't want I wanted you know you're going to be looking at this with the heart so I didn't want that to be the focal that there's an actual crimp bead there and I had to do it this way because this is a special clasp and I'll show you when uh, we get ready to put these on so let's put these the last two on here These are Preciosa pearls, and you know what? I don't know. They don't label the name of the color on these, so I kind of have to look up the the number and then the the invoice. So I apologize for that. When I go to put this video uh, publish it, I will um, I will let you know what color it is and I'll put it in the description because it is a really lovely color. This was the color that I was going to do initially and this one's lovely too but then I was looking for a bead color to match you know to kind of go in with it and when I, I pulled out this one and I pulled out this strand I was like oh, I should do it in this strand. So and I'm going to probably do a necklace on uh, with the BB craft stuff because we have this here clasp for BB craft so I think I, what I'll do so this one opens up here so I think what I'll do the idea is to attach it it has a swivel so I guess it's not sure if it's more meant for like a purse charm or something I have to think about that um, but anyway that would look lovely don't you think <laughs> so I'll make a necklace with this let's see what we get to distractions <laughs> okay let's cut this off 
and I'll show you what I did. I'll try and do this without scratching. But yeah, I think I scratched that. No, nope, didn't scratch it. Awesome. So this is the clasp. It's got this prong inside. And you know what was interesting? I was looking up. So I wanted to hand knot all these pearls. But I'm running into problems because the technique for hand knotting is different depending on your clasp. So, you know, I kind of figured out how to do it with these type of clasps. But um, then I would have needed, so first of all, I don't have the proper thread for this. I do have some of the little cards with the silk um, and it comes with a needle. So that's great, but I don't have a blue color and I think it would have had to have been blue to go with this pearl. So anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to add our um, crimp bead three beads in so that you can't see. I'm, I'm trying to decide whether I should do two pearls. I think three. So let's get a crimp bead here. Hmm. I wonder, no, I should use these. Oh, those are the two. No, I was using these. These are smaller. I'm using, so there, there is measurements on your wire on what size crimps you should be using. So that's why I was hesitating with the different size crimps because you definitely need to use the proper size. If it's your crimp beads too big for this fine thread, it, wire it won't hold it so let's put that on and then put all the rest on and what that piece of clasp does this here is it gets your pearl set in so you can see that bar is in a bit and that's important and I'll show you why Okay, so we have we have our three pearls and there's our crimp bead. So you can it almost looks the same. You know what I did in on one of them is I accidentally there was a crimp bead and a glass bead and I went and tried to crimp the glass bead and it cracked. Anyway, distractions. Okay, so these are amazing. They, first of all, the bar in the middle, let me show you with this. So you can see it gets the pearl sitting in. If I have some of these where the bar is straight across the top, so then all it does is it sits on the top here like this. So that doesn't, do any good but what I saw in the video and I'll I'll pull some of those out and we'll do some of that is somebody took their pliers and indented that bar so that it went in and it was great it worked so these are super cool so you open up your clasp and let me see if I can show you so there's a space it's hard to see that little square space it opens up so that you can get your wire folded over. So you want on one side of the, the bar and then go through that hole like that. And then go to the other side. So go back through, but make sure you're on the other side of the bar like that. And so we'll bring this like so now we're going to put this through that first pearl there. We're actually going to put it through everything, including we're going to go past the crimp bead. So let's go like 
this. So I think the better way to do this, and hopefully we can get this to work, is to do this section first. And I'll tell you why. Because you don't have anything up against your crimp bead, like a pearl. So I'm going to have to be very careful I don't scratch those pearls. There's a very small distance. But if you had started with this, you wouldn't have all these beads here. You could do your crimp and then put your beads on. I wasn't thinking. Like I said, it's one of those days. And I'm being careful when I draw my wire through not to um, not to curl it too much. If you if it creates like a loop and you go to curl it, it will kink it and whatnot. So let me just go through a pearl, two pearls and a and a eleven o. There we go, like that. And see what I mean like this? It That will crimp it, so just gently turn it as you're pulling it through. You can do that too. Okay, so let's, so hang on to your tail and your clasp and just pull, pull. Try to get that pearl in there. Okay, so that looks good. Now make sure you set your bracelet like in a circle so that it's it's soft and not like rigid because you want it to wear nice and loose kind of thing so let's there's our crimp bead let's get our crimp tool so this one doesn't matter if it's up or down just make sure this is in Seems kind of so there. That should be okay. I'll be careful. I promise. I'll be careful. Ooh, that's that's snug. <laughs> so I'm just gonna gently squeeze. We got the right one. But I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees. Okay, so we can let go of that now. Turn it 90 degrees. Let me see if I can see where it. There's the the little taco section. So let's bring it to the first layer. Ooh, I didn't like that sound. No, it just it's because this is um here. Let's flip this. The clasp is actually flipping it, so it just snapped on the tool okay so there's the there's my little taco okay Ooh. yeah it, it's just flipping that's all let's get in here oh something uh, I saw it yeah look it scuffed it a bit I know what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my needle nose pliers to fold it. This just keeps turning and turning and turning. That did it there. That looks okay. So let's cut this. Be careful again not to scratch anything. There. That is lovely for my sister. that's awesome look at how that turned out so lovely so yeah these are amazing I'll try and get the links for these as well yeah it looks 
very pretty. Tana. Thanks for joining me, and hopefully I'll get through some of these other, other things so you can see these lovely uh, videos. Take care, everybody. Bye.